up. Just tell him to clear just off. Just had to clear off. <laughs> just had to go back to his salon. Welcome back to Big Breakfast on Tuesday the 14th of November. I'm Johnny Ball. This is, of course, Denise Van Outen. And still to come on this morning's show. Uh, I get that sometimes. Do you? Yeah, you senior. Senior. Who am I? Yeah, yeah, I get that. And then I'm the news at the beginning of Owen Smith. To the world of current affairs in the pay per view, ladies and gentlemen. That's coming over this morning. Denise, what else is coming? Well, at 8.20, I'm going to be talking to the man himself, Mr. Harry Enfield. Oh, yeah. Read what it says. It's got a funny line there. Yeah, he like says he's it? got more characters than a Chinese, Chinese typewriter. That's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? I'm trying to impress Harry because then I might be able to get on his sketch. He's got more characters already, he doesn't need them. Oh, really? Because he's got more characters than a Chinese typewriter. Oh, I think that's brilliant. Listen, at 8.40, Johnny. Yes. Uh, there's more golden gobs when we get front row seats for the puppetry of the puppetry time. Puppetry of the time, oh, yeah. Put them away. Put them away, Lucy. You're not legal yet. Uh, plus, we check out the latest musical offerings in the Sizzler, uh, Denise. I know you enjoy that always. Uh, and we meet, okay. meet the star and director of the hugely, hugely uh, humorous film which we saw yesterday, Meet oh, the Parents. We really enjoyed that. It's a really good film. It'll make you chuckle. OK. Uh, anything, so else you'd like to, anything else you'd like to add at this juncture? No. OK, let's go over to the... Uh, I think we've got Jasmine Lowson now with the Big Breakfast News and Weather. Here's Jasmine. Yes. yes. Good morning. These are the main stories on Tuesday, the 14th of November. Fuel protest pumps into London. The Beatles blitz the boys' zone and Taylor's young ones sidelined. Petrol protesters have denied they've run out of steam as a convoy of lorries heads to London. They claim many more vehicles than expected are heading directly to the capital. So far, there's been no rerun of last month's protest, despite the passing of yesterday's deadline for the government to agree to cut fuel tax. Reed's relatives have been arriving in Caproon as the search continues for bodies following the weekend alpine disaster. At least 159 people are known to have died in the Austrian ski train fire. Families have travelled across the world from Japan to the States. There's still no word on what sparked the blaze. Tony Blair will try to force new plans to lower the gay age of consent to 16. The government faces the prospect of having to use the Parliament Act after the House of Lords threw out the proposal for the third time last night. The number of women drinking more than the recommended daily alcohol limit has risen by 50% in the last decade. Alcohol concern found women between 18 and 24 are the heaviest drinkers, with almost half binge drinking at weekends. It also noted a swing towards beer and lager as a young ladette's choice of drink. The original boy band, The Beatles, looks set to knock Westlife off the top of the charts, and that's without even one in-store appearance. The new compilation is outselling a live album from Oasis by 3 to 1 and Westlife by 5 to 1, which goes to show that the ability to play an instrument may still count for something. Here's the sport. The youth gamble may have backfired on New England boss Peter Taylor. Four of his under-30 squad will miss tomorrow's friendly in Italy through injury. Neither Owen nor Scholes have travelled to Turin. Smith and Brown were sidelined last weekend. Andy Flintoff's fitness coach has slammed the England selectors for recalling the Lancashire all-rounder to Pakistan for tomorrow's start of the first test in Lahore. He's worried that top-level matches at this stage could cause long-term damage to his back injury. That's the Big Breakfast News. Simon's at the house with the weather.